the weather is getting colder here at Butler. As the leaves start to fall and the temperature starts to drop, let's take a look at what to expect in these upcoming months. It's going to be continuously um, variable. We're going to have this mix. It, you know, sometimes we call it a whiplash effect, right? Because you have cold fronts coming through, you have warm fronts coming through. I've got a whole class right now that's studying these things and it takes a while to understand that. But basically what you're looking at are these low pressure systems that tend to start coming through our region in uh, September, October, November. As stated by Dr. Paradis, all weather is known to be very volatile and constantly changing. In Indianapolis, we can expect a lot of warm days transitioning into very cold days, as well as lots of wind and precipitation in the upcoming weeks. You know, as summer kind of goes to the background and we start seeing more storms come in from, from Canada, you know, the Great Lakes and that sort of thing. And so it becomes much more variable and therefore sometimes difficult to predict as you go into the fall and then early winter. So it's a it's a highly kind of volatile season for, for weather. If you like warm weather, you might have some for a few days. If you like cold weather, you'll have some of that too. So as we get into winter. But um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the cold weather. I don't like getting cold. <laughs> Just not my thing. The leaves are turning colors. This is one of the most beautiful campuses that I know of. It's just a joy to walk through um, and take, you know, take your time to kind of enjoy the landscaping. So I think Butler students can relate to that quite a bit. So, I mean, that's part of it. So you kind of have that fall change that's going on. <clears throat> and the other part is, as much as I like warm weather, um, I don't necessarily need hot weather, right? And so uh, fall is a very nice time. Matter of fact, I was just telling someone, I think it's my new favorite season because you're kind of moving into the 70s and 60s and 50s, maybe 40s at night, you know, for low temperatures. And it's a pretty nice um, kind of transition before we really start getting into the heavy winter weather. The best site that I recommend for everyone is to go to weather.gov. And that is the homepage for the National Weather Service. Their forecasts tend to be more accurate overall. Uh, they have the most expertise. For the Butler Collegian, I'm Allie Moulton.